We stay cool, 51 degrees for the high, so similar. Uh on the subways, you have planned track work on the 234-6780L and Staten Island Railway. And if you're getting on the major commuter rail line, so far, so good. Let's take a live look outside at the roads if you're... For, you know, not just this year and not just this mayoral's term, but for mm -hmm. decades and for hundreds of years mm -hmm. into the future. They say New Yorkers can combat climate change by doing things like using public transit or getting solar panels for their homes. Yeah, uh, Maria, it just seems like Ida was such a wake-up call for so many of us because we've never experienced, even with Sandy, which was a long-running event, we never experienced that intense flooding in such a short period of time. Right. We had uh, two or three consecutive months where we got a month full of rain in a day or two. Uh, so we had a lot of extreme weather the last couple of months. And if you just look at the temperature, which is just a, a part of the climate, climate picture. Over the last several decades, much of the country has seen warmer fall temperatures, and that includes New York City as well. But heading into the weekend, we were watching this coastal low get all right, 47. Not too much happening out there on the roads right now. You can see uh, maps nice and green, which means it's quiet. But uh, there is one spot that has pretty heavy delays, and that's the inbound upper level of the George Washington Bridge. It's about 30 minutes inbound right now because of construction on the upper level, but the lower level delay free. So that's the way to go. We'll head outside and take a live look at the Verrazano. No major issues. Uh, alternate side of the street parking rules are suspended today, but meter rules are still in effect. Michael, over to you. Warren, thank you very much. And at 418, best is for no onions and no tomatoes. What's the matter with them in Connecticut? No <laughs> onions and no <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> the is real foodies, right? The tri-state that we eat. Is right, that what it is? We just specific, like the way we like it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always feel bad, though, when I, mm -hmm. if I want to change. Or in the beginning, but if it, if it gets to me, I'm like, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> You're Sally of Harry Met Sally. I think <laughs> about 51 of them, but all of it should wrap up in about 35 minutes. Okay, so interesting commuter note today, Lauren, for drivers or non-drivers. Uh, look for the self-driving Waymo cars to begin rolling down these Manhattan streets from Midtown to the financial cruise. No worry as to when those way mo So you do have some minor delays there. And then delays are now minor, if at any delay at all, uh, over at the George Washington Bridge. So a little while ago, three lanes were blocked on that inbound upper level. It was a 30-minute delay. As you can see, no delay into the tolls. It's still a little slow going on the uh, inbound upper level span, but really much better than it was. Darlene, back to you. All right, Lauren, thanks so much. Happening today, kids can start getting vaccinated at city locations. On the Tri-State, on this Thursday, the 4th of November, I'm Michael Gorgiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Lawrence Gall is here looking at your ride to work. Marie LaRosa says bring a scarf or maybe an extra layer. Feel a little I love cozy. It. Let's do it. And you get a 30s and you yes. get a 30s right. <laughs> everywhere. Go around. Let's start off in parts of Brooklyn, Queens and Nassau County where Elmhurst is at 43, Levittown 38 degrees and uh, some air again tonight. All right. Our and I Danielle Besher and Miranda and Amarissa Labar. After shows were canceled last year, the sisters and the rest of the world. Wow. Yeah, one during the day shows and the other at night. Wow. So, you know, okay. maybe one day the, the company will sort of give the families that, put them together. I'm sure the family doesn't show. mind seeing the, the shows twice. I think they do. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I say that as a parent in three different schools. Exactly. Like, let's talk about that. Yeah. And you didn't go to the recital. <laughs> That's right. That's right. 30s tonight. Hi, if you're headed out right now, uh, the rails look pretty good. Overnight track work will wrap up momentarily on the subways. And just a reminder, alternate side is suspended once again today. So you don't have to move your car, but you still need to pay the meters. Okay. We can't get you to watch a Netflix show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's more than... All right, it's 457 right now. Still to come, more health concerns for the Giants plus this. In New Jersey has done in more than 40 years. And a teenage heart to believe. That's yeah, an amazing survive. story. That is really warning. November 4th, I'm Darlene Rodriguez. I'm Michael Gorgiou. Lauren Scala is watching our commute this morning. Storm Team 4's Maria La Rosa is here with today's forecast. That's yeah, it. Yeah, it's frosty. It's long. Things are rolling along nicely on the roads. There is one accident out there to tell you about. It's on the Belt Parkway. So westbound just after Rockaway Boulevard. That takes out a lane and there are some delays. Not too bad. Then heading over out there that takes out two lanes. So just after the Bronx River Parkway, you see things uh, really start to slow down. You can stick with the Cross Bronx as an alternate option. And speaking of alternate, alternate side is suspended today, but meter rolls, they're still in effect. Michael, over to you. Okay, Warren, thanks so much. Happening today in New York City vaccine. Over to you. Okay, Warren, thanks so much. Happening today in New York City. The wheel, Lauren.
Anyone? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> if you're headed out right now, uh, there are delays at on the five train at Eastchester Dyer Ave. So in and out of that station. Uh, then heading over to other subways just from kick off uh, within the next hour or so. We'll take a live look outside at the roads. Not too much, Maria. Uh, good morning, everyone. You're in for a pretty nice drive. The place I'm seeing delays right now is the Long Island Expressway. There are reports of an accident westbound just after exit 19. So you can see things are already really slowing down heading into the area. So I'll keep a close eye on that. But outside of this, things look pretty good on the roads. We'll take a live look at the Verrazano Bridge, where you still have road work out there that shuts down the lower level. But there are no delays on the Staten Island Expressway getting into the bridge. So that's great news. Then heading to that first place we see to slow down uh, out there between the Prospect Expressway and Hamilton Avenue. Not so slow just yet, so enjoy your ride. Alternates out of the street parking rules are suspended, but meter rules still apply. Michael, back to you. Okay, Warren, thanks so much. 518 now. Happen See, bookings do open on November 8th, um, two nights. I mean, that's going to be snatched but up. That apartment would be, like, super expensive, right? That was the whole thing about the show, right? Mm -hmm. She really wouldn't have been able to right. leave the apartment from the movie. I don't remember her apartment being that big, but I'm just yeah, going to have to go back and watch again. Well, producer exactly. Melanie said she paid $700 rent. <laughs> Now we know oh, that's, that's, that's not that's real. Yeah, that's Melanie's rent. No, no. Nobody's paying $700. I wish. The seven roommates. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Those closets were nice. Of she kept her sweaters really? in the oven, if exactly. I remember. Right. And shoes. That's and a New York thing. Yeah, she didn't use the oven as a closet. Uh, we have some temperatures now ranging from the 20s north and west to and more of the same tomorrow, 20s and 30s mm -hmm. across the area. By the dairy and service area. Uh, Connecticut roads are in great shape. No delays on the Merritt Parkway either. And heading over to the uh, has cleared up already, so Ooh, good news. That was like the best traffic report ever. <laughs> oh, right? thanks. That's nice. <laughs> All right, so this is something else you might see on the road. Self-driving Waymo cars. We'll actually steer them around so the software can get used to our New York City traffic, pedestrians, bikes, work crews, everything else we have out there. No word as to when the Waymo cars will be going. Your updates now coming to Penn Station. There we go. Well, good morning, everybody. It's 5.30 a.m. on this Thursday, November 4th. I'm Michael Gargiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Lawrence Gala is here with us tracking that ride to work for you on this Thursday. And Storm Team 4's Marie LaRosa is looking at the weather. Good morning. Good morning. Looking at the chill. We yeah. have plenty of 20s and 30s on the map. And that's just outside the city. We go from 40 in Hoboken to 27 in Randolph, Basking Ridge, 26 degrees, uh, New Dorp now now at 35 and we're holding at 40 in the city. We'll see if we can officially dip into the 30s. 32 in White Plains, 30 in the 20 as well. So leave yourself extra time or avoid the LIE if possible. Uh, outside of that, just remember alternate side uh, parking is suspended today. So no need to move your car, but meter rules, they are still in effect. So do keep that in mind. Darlene, over to you. All right. Thanks so much, Lauren. We are breaking news in the Bronx right now. Firefighters. of things out there. We'll start with the rails. Uh, there are delays in both directions on the J train right now, but that's it uh, for mass transit. Now heading over to the roads. I know it's a little dark. Uh, Connecticut Turnpike accident out here. This is on the southbound side of 95 out in the East Bridgeport area. So heading into exit 27 BC by Lafayette Boulevard, you can see multiple lanes blocked. So you have the shoulder getting by and then that's the off ramp at exit 27. And you can see delays starting to build out there. Uh, they're likely going to have to close the road to clean that debris up. I can see a lot of glass out there. So definitely keep that in mind. Connecticut commuters heading over to the LIE. Things are really jammed up because of an accident westbound out by 80th Street. So after exit 19 there heading towards the BQE, you can see outer roadway, inner roadway, a big old mess. And here's what it looks like on the maps. Delays aren't yet back to the clear yourself extra time. And then here's a live look at the traffic flows in Nassau County. Tr roads are getting congested uh, westbound Southern State Parkway also. Roads are getting congested. Uh, westbound Southern State Parkway, also Westbound Northern State and LIE. So no accidents to report on there. Just a lot of people already. And alternate side of the street park. Just a lot of people already. And alternate side of the street park. Now travels at a slightly slower pace through Central Park. Newkirk has run the New York City Marathon 10 times. A little race in Central Park now winds its way all through five boroughs in New York City with runners from all around the world. And I think we've all covered this and have been right, there at the start it. and at the finish. And it's, it's a really spectacular thing to see.
the accomplishment of mm -hmm. these runners Absolutely. when they start and when they're done. It's amazing. And, and, and I think it's so great. It's such a great, it's one endless vista of the city as you watch the coverage of this. So really imagine is. starting out running in Central Park. I know. We have colleagues running, right? Matt Brickman, Dave Price. Yes, we have we a couple have. of people. Right. Right. Our Kevin here. Ford is, yeah. a, is a, right. a runner as well. All elite so runners, we elite. might point out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't want to run with us. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> they're on a different level. Good luck. I run when chased, so that's put today. All right, we've got some clouds in the area, but definitely the chill, too. So we range from the 20s north and west, about 45 in Montauk with mostly cloudy uh, But they're starting to build at the George Washington Bridge. Uh, but that's it. Major commuter rail lines are running on or close to schedule. Okay, well, thank you so much. In our nation's capital, Congress introduces Michael Gargiulo. Lauren Scal is watching our roads this morning and the rails as well. And Storm Team 4's Mila Rosa is here. Everything's changed with you, Maria, now. <laughs> no, but, no, and not, not personally, but I, I, feel I like just feel different. like... She's no, different. no, you're oh, so nice. But I just feel like now we're really talking about like cold weather and yeah. winter coming and that sort of it's thing. It's settling in. It's getting increasingly more difficult to get to like the 70s and 80s, right. as an example. Uh, a little bit easier to get into the 20s and 30s. That's the case the next few mornings anyway. Let's start in Suffolk County. One of those interesting temperature maps because Montauk, you're at 45, but West Hampton Beach, not that far away, down to 30. So sometimes you can have that localized uh, little cooled pools. Smithtown at 36 degrees, and that's what we find at Bridgeport. We've dipped into the 30s officially for the first. Another cold one tomorrow. All right, let's see how things. Lauren, what are you watching? <laughs> things are moving along nicely for many, but there's a pretty serious accident out there right now on the Connecticut Turnpike. Here's a live look. This is in the Bridgeport area, so southbound on 95. Just the shoulder gets by right now. This is out by exit 27, so just before uh, Route 25, Route 8 there, and you could see uh, glass all over the roadway. It looks like a box truck came apart and another vehicle involved there. So emergency crews on the scene. Uh, delays are building quickly, so this is a spot to avoid. And then heading over to the Long Island Expressway in Queens, uh, really jammed up because of a crash out there too. This is westbound after Queens Boulevard exit 19. Those delays almost back to the clear view. And just a reminder that alternate side is suspended today, but meter rolls there in effect. Michael, back to you. Okay, Warren, thank you. For through this evening, a few clouds from time to time. But going forward, we do have the outlook still heading into the second half of November to see above average temperatures. But uh, if you're headed out right now, there are delays in both directions on the J train. Outside of that, the rails look good. And you have some minor delays on the Grand Central Parkway westbound by LaGuardia. There is an accident out here, but uh, it's been pretty consistent as far as traffic flow. It's not getting much worse. We'll take a live look outside at the Holland Tunnel if you're headed that way. Uh, let's talk about uh, Connecticut right now. Uh, in Bridgeport, uh, on the Connecticut Turnpike southbound, you have this accident. It looks like a bump into exit 27A. So the Route 8, Route 25 exit, and it's blocking three lanes. So just that shoulder gets by. Delays go back into Stratford. As you can see, if you want to take the Merritt Parkway, uh, here's a live look at the traffic uh, flows here through Trumbull. Things are still moving along. That's going to pick up a lot of that alternate volume. But if you get out there now, that's the way to go to avoid this. It looks like they're trying their best to clear it quickly, though. Take a live look outside at the Long Island Expressway, that accident westbound after Queens Boulevard's engine heading towards the Verrazano Bridge. Alternate side of the street, engine heading towards the Verrazano Bridge. Alternate side of the street, like the when Waymo cars may go solo. We'll have to discuss this in a moment, but there's a lot of obstacles to driving safely it's, around New York City. It's hard City. to drive with a, a driver. Being, yeah. Right. The driving is especially bad these days in Manhattan. I think we have right. a lot of people that aren't used to driving in the city. And I know. Yeah, so and good it's luck a traumatic experience sometimes. <laughs> 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 you know, we're kind of known for fast walkers, except when we're crossing the street. Right. right. And we take our time. Stop. Check our the phone. phone. <laughs> no, I know. They're like, you better not hit me. <laughs> not hit me. That's right. I don't care if that light is green. <laughs> exactly. Every day. You better wait. <laughs> but we love our city. <laughs> All right. But we have a Officially dipped degrees in degrees for parts of Long Island tomorrow morning. Warren, how long before New York is the scene of the first shouting match between two driverless cars? <laughs> and then some traffic on Route 9 northbound. Details coming up shortly. Thanks so much. Lauren is 626. Still to come, we will have an update on that breaking news that we're following in the Bronx. And then stepping up security at the five barrels. Well, good morning, everybody. It's 6.30 a.m. on this Thursday. It's November 4th. I'm Michael Gargiulo. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Lauren Scala is here looking at that ride to work for you on this Thursday morning. And Maria LaRosa has your chilly forecast for today. Yeah, it is chilly. It uh, is. 20s and 30s, legitimately. Uh, we've got that <laughs> just around the city, too. We have got temperatures still into the mid-40s by the time we get to dinner and 46 at 
Seven. Just the left lane, or excuse me, the left shoulder gets a great job of cleaning this up as quickly as possible. But just the left lane, or excuse me, the left shoulder gets by southbound out there. This is heading into exit 27. You can see lots of debris still out there in the roadway. So uh, delays go back into Stratford. Stick with the Merritt Parkway that's still moving along pretty nicely. The LIE is jammed up. There's an accident that's now been moved to the shoulder westbound after Queens Boulevard. But the delays, uh, they're done for the morning. They're all the way back almost to the clear view. So that's not likely to. Your people, the commuters. <laughs> I know you need it. I hear you <laughs> complain about Penn Station all the time. Uh, if you're headed out right now, no delays at Penn Station. You do have delays in both directions on the J, though, and then heading over to the LIRR and NJ Transit, Metro North Path, everything running on or close to schedule. We'll take a live look outside at the roads. If you're headed to the Hudson's here in the day and the other at the night shows. So you got, so, and you got to, you got to see both, well, Maria. You do, of course, you know, you got more than one kid doing stuff. You got to right. You got to go. Or you got to say you went. <laughs> Okay. Know, no, they not know. suggesting. They not know. suggesting. Every parent knows. They know. They know. They're looking. You don't you. want to make Thanksgiving and other. Yeah. Awkward. You don't want to see. <laughs> Do you remember that time, Mom, when I? You know, right. You don't want and that. you weren't looking and when you, I yeah. scored the goal. You were talking. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yes. I'm in touch with that emotion. Oh, <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Well, it's right on time. We've got those awesome rockets ready to kick off, and so we have some really frosty temperature early part of the weekend. And speaking of, with a lot of sunshine on Saturday. You may be out and enjoying things. Just want to make sure by the time you go to bed, you remember to turn those clocks back. Want to make sure everyone shows up at the right time. We have a partly to mostly cloudy skies. So what's going on? Well, there's a couple of problems out there. Not problems for everyone, but there's a few. We're going to start uh, with a live look outside at the Holland Tunnel where we're going to see cars out there uh, waiting to get an update you. Hopefully they'll get it cleared soon. Uh, over in the Marlboro Manalapan area, Route 9 shut down in both directions. Southbound at Union Hill Road and northbound after Tenant Road out by the Land Rover dealership is where that crash is. And then heading over to the Belt Parkway, you have an accident on the westbound side out here. It takes out a few lanes. You can see it on the maps here, and you still have expressway. So uh, delays are building. You can see it on the maps here, and you still have a crash westbound on the LIE. It's on the shoulder, uh, but it's after Queens Boulevard. And Queens, all, the roadways are always slow there. Uh, over on Connecticut, on the Connecticut Turnpike 95 southbound, uh, there's still just one lane getting by this big accident. They've almost cleaned it up, but it's heading into 27A in the Bridgeport area, so delays go back into Stratford. You might want to take the Merritt Parkway and alternate side of the street. Parking rules are suspended, but meter rules still apply. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks. So. All right, 658. Lauren's here. One more check of traffic. All right, plenty of things going on, including some closures. Uh, the Hutch is shut down southbound right now at Orchard Beach, uh, then heading five minutes here. Definitely a spot to avoid. Yes, to get north yeah. and get over Lincoln the Lincoln Tunnel. Mm -hmm. What's going on there, Maria? All right, bundle up, 20s and 30s, and near 40 degrees now. Near 60 next week. Okay, Maria, thanks. Stay with us what local news updates every 30 minutes throughout the morning. The Today Show is next. That's what's happening today in New York. Southbound two trains. Now, if you're getting on the roads, Route 9 shut down on the Marlboro area between Tenant Road and Union Hill Road. That's in both directions with an accident out there. You still have one westbound on the belt by the Van Wyck Expressway just after it, causing very heavy delays. Uh, also, a crash on the Jackie Robinson Parkway westbound by Cypress Hill Street. Delays onto the Grand Central for that. And then on 84 eastbound, there's an overturned truck out there approaching exit 44. Darlene, back to you. All right, thanks so much. Thanks, Darlene. There are delays in service changes on the 2-3 Q&R lines. And if you're getting on the roads, Route 9 still shut down in both directions between Tenant Road and Union Hill Road, so expect delays through the area. Then over on the Jackie Robinson Parkway westbound, you still have a crash out there by Exit 3. You can see the Grand Central is really backed up because of that as well. Uh, now you have a stall on the BQE eastbound at Atlantic Avenue, so that's where that traffic pattern changes, which makes it rough to begin with, and now this is making it worse. And then in Connecticut, on 95 southbound, you have a crash heading into Exit 14. Delays go all the way back into Fairfield, and finally an overturn truck on 84 eastbound still not used to it so good luck today if you're headed out uh, there are delays on between then on the Bean Hill Road uh, so expect delays there uh, then on the BQE eastbound you have a stall at Atlantic Avenue so delays go all the way back to the Verrazano Bridge over on the Whitestone Expressway northbound you have a crash just before the bridge right at the cross island there and then heading over to 84 eastbound you still have this overturned truck approaching Route 52 that's causing delays in both directions